while we're on drinks, I don't claim to be a bartender, but I did make my own margarita that was pretty good if I do say so myself. Check it out. What you'll need are tequila, fresh lime juice, triple sec, coarse salt, ice, and limes. Rub the edge of your glass with a lime slice and dip it into the coarse salt. Place it in the freezer while you prepare the drink. Next, fill a cocktail shaker with ice, two ounces of tequila, one ounce of lime juice, and one ounce of triple sec. Shake it up for at least 30 seconds. Grab your glass, add some ice in it, and strain the margarita mixture over the ice. Boom, that's it. You, my friend, have a tart, tangy tequila margarita that's perfect for any occasion. I found this recipe online at simplyrecipes.com. First, cut your two avocados in half and twist to open them. To get the seed out, tap it with a knife and twist it to remove. Next, score your avocado with a knife. Now, all that means is create squares inside and scoop it out. Mash them with a fork to make it as chunky or as smooth as you like. Then add one tablespoon of lime juice, a half a teaspoon of coarse salt, and mix it together. Next, add in two tablespoons of red onion and cilantro, a dash of pepper, one minced serrano chile, half a cup of chopped tomatoes, and combine it together. Last, if you want, add more lime juice and salt for taste, and that's it. Now, if you're waiting to serve it for later, cover it with some plastic wrap, press out any air, and pop it in the refrigerator. When you're ready to serve, take it out, grab your favorite tortilla chips, and eat up. Check out this easy pico de gallo recipe I found online at simplyrecipes.com too. First, cut up your veggies. You'll need three tomatoes, half a red onion, two serrano peppers, or one jalapeno pepper. Add your tomatoes, red onions, serrano chiles, some lime juice, cilantro, a pinch of dried oregano, ground cumin, salt and pepper into your food processor. Next, pulse to a fine dice. Now you don't want it too watery though. Add a little bit more salt and pepper for taste. Mix it all up and let it sit for one hour. And in no time, you have the perfect salsa with just the right amount of spice. I'm Sydney Neely and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.